Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 43 for Wednesday, April 29th, 2015. Contacts and dialers. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Prosper. Prosper is a peer-to-peer -peer lending marketplace which connects people who are looking to borrow money with those who have money to lend. Visit prosper.com slash twit and receive a $50 Visa gift card when you get a loan. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. So when I picked this week's theme, I thought it might be a bit of a challenge, but it's often requested by viewers of this show. In fact, Jim wrote in just last week to Arena at Twit.tv to say, quote, I need a better contacts app than the standard one on the Moto X. Put some good ones in the arena and let's see who wins. Okay, Jim, I will. I mean, I did. And you're about to see that here. The challenge, of course, came in not exposing my own personal contacts in the process, something that is really hard to do with apps that focus on contact lists. So I created a bogus account, fill in the gaps. That helped, but still a few things got through. And Josh Windish, who edits this show, had to do some editing magic to cover it up. Sorry about that, Josh. But hey, the people have spoken. So here you go. This week's show is a battle of some of the best contacts and dialer replacement apps for Android. Let's take a look. Today's first app does something pretty powerful, but with it comes a catch. It's called True Dialer, and it's a contact and dialer replacement that taps into the True Caller anti spam service initially used for blocking unwanted telemarketer calls. True Caller, the makers of True Dialer, were backed by $60 million in venture capital funding just last year, so there's big money behind its spam call blocking ambitions. True Caller has deals with public phone directory services to aid in its caller identification, as well as matching the contacts uploaded by its own users when they sign up. Yes, that last part might raise your eyebrows, and if it does, be forewarned. If, on the other hand, you feel like it's a small price to pay for this level of caller ID, well, this might be for you. The True Dialer dial pad shows by default, and everything looks modern and striking, as you can see here. Swiping right shows your favorites shortcuts, and swiping left from the dial pad brings you to a keyboard for contact search. Pretty straightforward. Tap the contact button below and you'll see your full list of contacts. And don't forget that the right side has a letter bar, making it easy to drag right to the name of your choice, to drag your finger up and down that bar to the letter that you need. Tapping into any contact shows their expanded data, your call history, and the ability to add them to your favorites list. Great UI, but that's not why you would use True Dialer. The magic lies in its ability to identify the numbers you connect with. Doing a search for Twit Brickhouse shows our 800 number provided by the True Caller database. I can swipe that result to the left if I want to send an SMS, although that won't work to Twit, uh, or to the right for more information about that number. Doing that shows me the address of the studio and a link to the Twit Yelp page. That's thanks to deals True Caller has with Yelp and with Twitter, so results can also get pretty insightful with little effort with that expanded information. No doubt about it, True Dialer is slick and very smart. You'll just have to ask yourself if uploading your contact info is worth it or not. True Dialer is free in the Play Store. Next up is an app that does things a bit differently. It was featured a few weeks ago on All About Android and one in the arena on that show. It's called Droop. It looks different, very different. Here I've pinned a number of my own personal contacts to the left side column. You know, Andy Rubin, Sergey Brin, uh, Gina Trapani, of course, Sundar Pichai, Larry Page, and Ron Richards. You know, my peeps. So having done that, I can now engage an action on any one of those contacts. Hovering along the right side of the screen are a number of services that kick into gear when I tap and hold on a contact and then drag them on top of that icon. I can call them, 
I can send him a text message, an email. Dragging onto this calendar icon allows me to set up a schedule with that contact, and that'll be emailed to them automatically, as well as added to my own calendar. You can navigate to that contact or send them your location, send them a Hangout or a Hangout video request. And those colored dots bring you to more actions, if there are any, though on the Nexus 5, the only one extra that I'm presented with is the pay a friend action for paying that contact with PayPal, Venmo, or Cash by Square. And that's just by default. Installing other apps that are supported like Facebook, WhatsApp, Skype, etc., will then let you add those to the right side so you can drop a contact on them as well. There's a quick search option for any contact that didn't make the favorites cut. When you're on the home screen or inside another app, those tiny floating dots are ever present. So accessing Droop is as easy as swiping those dots inward. There's also some lock screen support. So you can have your favorites hover over the top of your lock screen for quick access there. And there are plenty of customization options for tweaking the color theme and how everything is presented. Droop may not be an all-encompassing contacts browser, but it's great for keeping track of your best buds. Find Droop, spelled D-R-U-P-E, in the Play Store for free. Finally, a third-party dialer that just underwent a major material design refresh called Ready Contact List. First and foremost, Ready is all about looking sharp. You've got the speed dial at the forefront for anyone that you've recently been in touch with or commonly in touch with. Large images for your contacts are presented along with direct access to call and SMS features. Tapping the overflow menu on those contacts actually gives you more contact management options. Calls and messages are handled in whatever app you've chosen as your system default when they're tapped. Now, swiping left shows your recent history. To gain access to your entire contacts list, you tap this group button up top. Now you can tap a letter to jump right to that point in your list, or you can simply swipe the contact cards left and right. I kind of found two contacts on screen at once to be a bit narrow in scope, especially if you have hundreds of contacts, but that's what the letter functionality is for, I suppose. The floating action button here represents the dialer that animates very nicely when tapped, when it's opened. Now, when you get a call, ready contact list will surface relevant information from that contact on your call screen. And when you finish a call, you'll get this call bubble. Just tap that and you'll be presented with a number of different actions that you can take on that call that just ended, making it easy to add them to your contacts, send them a quick text, and more. Ready Contact List really is a nice feature boost to the Stock Contacts app. And for an in-app purchase, you can gain access to ringtones, and T9 text entry while supporting the developers in the process. You can find Ready Contact lists for free in the Play Store with a $2.99 premium upgrade inside the app. Normally, I'd tell you why I like this app and didn't like this one as much, but today's big app actually ties in perfectly. So I'm going to save that analysis for the end of the show. In the meantime, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. That's Prosper. Face it. There aren't many good ways to borrow money when you need it. Friends, family, credit card companies, traditional bank loans. But now with a low fixed rate loan with Prosper.com, there's a better way. You can borrow up to $35,000 in as few as five days and use the money for just about anything you desire. Pay off high rate credit cards, fix up the house, put it into your business. We're getting a new fence at our house. You better believe I could use a Prosper loan to use for that. Prosper's online marketplace connects people who need money with those who want to invest in you. That's what it's all about. You don't ra rack up uh, more debt on your credit cards. You pay them off with Prosper. To check your low rate instantly without affecting your good credit, you can go to prosper.com slash twit. Now and for a limited time, Prosper is giving twit viewers a $50 Visa gift card with your low interest loan. You can get up to $35,000 in your account in as few as five days and a $50 Visa gift card. Just go to prosper.com slash twit for this special offer just for twit viewers. And we thank Prosper for their support. All right. Like I said, this week's big app is essentially an extension of the theme of today's show. It fits it perfectly. I love it when it works like that. So let's take a look at this week's big app. <laughs> 
Fitting today's theme perfectly is an app by a company you may have heard of before. Facebook has been operating on a multi-app strategy the past few years. Some, like Instagram, were successful on their own prior to being acquired by the company. Others, like Poke and Home, didn't make much impact, if any. But that's not slowing Facebook down. Last week, they released a new standalone app called Hello. And like True Dialer, its aim is to make your phone smarter so you know more about the people who call you, and that can help when you receive a call from someone you don't want to talk to. All of this is pulled from Facebook's immense database of 1.44 billion monthly active users. That's no joke. If a user has shared their number with Facebook and you actually have access to that from within Facebook, then you'll benefit when they call you. In other words, users that share their number publicly or users that are your friends that have shared their contact info with you on the service, you'll be able to see their numbers. You can also block unwanted or unlisted calls from getting through. One thing to note is that Hello is not utilizing Messenger for voice over IP. This is essentially a dialer replacement that uses your existing voice plan minutes. Though I really wouldn't count that kind of functionality out in the long term. Facebook thinks of this app as a way to save your minutes by knowing when you should pick up the phone and when you can let the call pass through to voicemail. Enhanced caller ID is what we're talking about here. Obviously, there are parallels between Hello and True Dialer in that using these services requires you to be okay with giving up your contact info. But in the case of Facebook, You've kind of already done that if you're a user of the service, so I suppose that means you have little more to lose. Hello is limited to the U.S., Brazil, and Nigeria at the moment. You can check it out for yourself, if you can, in the Play Store for free. Okay, then my job is a bit more challenging this week because I have four apps to pick from, not the normal three. True Dialer is super smart at caller ID and rejection, but requires you to give up contact info in the process. Facebook's hello is similar to True Dialer, but if you're a Facebook user, well, you've already shared that info, taking a bit of the friction out of the process. Ready Contact List is like taking the stock contacts app and sprucing it up a bit. And Droop is totally different with floating bubble functionality and actions that can be executed on your favorite contacts. Of these four, if I had to pick just one, I suppose I'd have to go with... Uh, the new guy in town, hello. I think Facebook created a great looking app here. Definitely brings relevant info about the people you care enough about to follow on Facebook into your phone experience. I think that's pretty valuable. If you're all in on Facebook, it's an excellent way to merge your Facebook contacts and device contacts in a more seamless way. And if you're not, I don't know where that leaves you. I guess True Dialer is probably the other alternative to check out if you want to get in on the, on the action here. Um, I love hearing from you guys. This entire episode was based on Jim's email request, so thank you, Jim. Uh, but that's to show you that if you send in your requests to arena at twit.tv, I will absolutely take them into consideration and maybe base a show around your request. There's also a subreddit for the show where I post categories and ask you to tell me about your favorite apps, why you love them so much. If you have input on some of your favorites, head on over to androidapparena.reddit.com and share them with me. Definitely check that out every week. You can follow me on Google Plus for my random, sometimes app-related ramblings. I also host a live viewing party of each week's episode of Android App Arena. I'll be on set to answer any questions you might have about the apps in the show or really anything Android. And that happens every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight at live.twit.tv. And if you miss it, which you might, it's okay. Just subscribe to the show. Every week's episode will appear later that night on the site and in the feeds. And you can find all that information at twit.tv slash arena. Okay, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.